Alright everybody, so this is Dr. E again with another tutorial for MCOM 220, this for sure is social media and applications. And today we're going to talk about podcasting and how to produce macro content for social media using Logic Pro 10 and the techniques on how to produce a podcast. So what we need to do is to make sure that we go to Logic Pro 10, everybody, and we need to create an empty project. And we're going to create one with a mic or a line. Very simple here. So the first thing that we need to understand is that Logic Pro 10 is GarageBand on steroids. This is a good way to explain what this program is, which all of our computers, we have a version of Logic in our labs. So and when we look at this interface, there are a few things that we probably should understand before we move forward. Is that, can you see here the, the, the rewind, the forward, the stop, the play, the record? So this menu here helps us to be able to, to kind of control our timeline. But there's also something called cycle. Can you see the cycle? Basically, that means that it does recycle the play. If you hit the space bar it recycles the play from going from the um, this space from one to eight here, right? So then what we need to do is to make sure that we click on that cycle when we do some of these editings and everything. So you see that it doesn't move beyond eight there. So it stays within that space. That's what's called the cycle. And, and that's a great function that does exist in in logic because it allows us to be able to manipulate the audio in a particular type of i guess space on the interface we also can see here the bpm right so it was the speed of our audio we also have technically we have the time signature and we even have a metronome look at that can you hear to keep us <laughs> to be in like on, on rhythm because Logic Pro 10 is often used for music production. Now, we look here a little more to the right, you're gonna see this is the overall master audio volume, right, that isn't there. That controls how loud and not loud your, your production is going to be. And here on the right side, there are multiple things that you can click on, but one of them for sure is the one that we're going to talk more which is the loop browser so that one would allow us to be able to produce some cool like intro musics for podcasts i'll show you here in just a minute that, that looks really nice so we're going to talk about that in just a second here on the left well maybe you're not can you see those those knobs so when you move this one off to the right they're going to make the track a little fatter and this one makes a little longer right so so we could kind of we kind of adjust that way in this little guy so this is the pointer tool that allows you to move things you can zoom in you can mute uh, you can cut we're going to talk about all of that in a minute this is tech one new one here is to control and manipulate your automation for your audio so we're also going to talk about that and here on the left you have the um, a number of different types of interfaces that allows us to be able to do some great work including eqing and also something called the process of mastering now here also on the left we have an opportunity to find the libraries of the instruments or sometimes the voice that we want to make our kind of make our um, our our instruments or our voice out for them to sound and everything. It's very interesting, especially here <laughs> on the EQ. So very cool. So with that said, let's now create a, a project. Let's say we're gonna create a project and that project is going to be, let's say a podcast on, on I don't know, college life. I think it's a good example, all right? So, in reality, I would not have started in Logic. You come to Logic after you have done some pre-production. We'll call this how to, to like write a script. 
And you know, folks, we live in 2024, and in 2024, we have AI, or generative AI technology. So it's kind of pointless to ignore those new technologies. Might as well use it. So I'm going to show you here how simple this is, so you guys can kind of see how a script look like. And then you may want to elaborate that a little bit. But, uh, but check this out. So write me a script for a podcast about, I don't know, college life in the state of South Carolina in 2024 in, I don't know, in an HBCU. How about that? That to be kind of cool. And click that and look at what happens. <laughs> Beyond the gates. Look at this. How cool. They talk about South Carolina historically black colleges and universities. Oh, and this one actually does have a guest. So technically, now, there we go. So this is a good idea. If you want to have a podcast, the podcasts have guests. Well, there it is. <laughs> but it gives you an understanding of what can be done. So that podcast starts with an opening music. There is a host. And then there is a transition music that goes to a host again. And then, in this case, the host has multiple guests. And the show goes on. Right? So the very first thing that we have to do is to produce an opening music. That's why <laughs> we are here in 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 logic pro 10 so there are multiple ways in which you can actually do that one of the ways that you can do and that i highly recommend is that you go to genre and look for what we call samples here a sample is for example go to let's say i mean i don't know how about we go to let's go hip-hop and if we manipulate the, um, I shall say, manipulate the timeline, but if you import samples, those example of samples, into a timeline here in Logic, and they all fit the same category, for example, can you see, can you see Alph Alphabet City Boundless Base? Do you see? Can you hear? The harp. Or the piano, or the beat, it's gonna fit. In fact, we're gonna show you here what we can do, even though, <laughs> I don't know if I would, well, I guess it depends if I would have put like a, an opening of a podcast as a, I guess it could be hip hop. But well, let me see here what we got. Bass. So beat four, beat three. You see, we can actually see something else. We're gonna go amber, amber balloon, bass. And by the way, we don't have to go totally hip hop if we don't want to. If you wanna go funk, you can too, right? So for example, so let's go to boogie. Boogie is a good one. Ah, look at that. Now it sounds a little more like something a little more interesting. Let's actually put it in here. If we drag and drop, yeah, I'm gonna make this, I'm gonna click OK, and I'm gonna import. Make that a little longer so we can kind of see the sample there, right? So check this out. Very cool. Let's put like eight measures of this. The second one there, I think it should be kind of here, right? Okay, very cool. So, see here from one to three, this is the first, um, the first cycle range from one to three. When you go from three to five, you probably should put like another instrument there. So this is beat. Let's see how it's going to be the guitar. Oh, this could be interesting. 
But you see, they, you're going to see that they're, they're going to fit. They will fit the category because they are part of the same category here also in logic. So check this out. Maybe not. Let's see if we can get something better. This is something. Yeah, this is a lot more. That makes a lot more sense. So let's put this one guy here. Let's put some hit hat. So let's start it again. There we go. Now we're going to keep that hit hat all going all night long. But then here we're going to introduce another instrument. So how about a slap bass? Let me see. Oh yeah, I think this is going to sound good. Let me see. So check this out. Very cool. In fact, I even think it's better. <laughs> just I'm just listening and doing this as we go. Maybe to put the bass second, and, and then we're gonna introduce the um, the hit hat just right after. So this would be bass second, and then technically, by the way, you can always click and manipulate that to where you wanna go, right? Just by looking at the extremities, and then you should be able to do it. And if not, you can just drag, it's kind of drag and drop. And then I just see it back in. It's the same principle. But let's see how, we can make that a little smaller. Let's see how that is actually sounding. Oh, yeah. I almost feel that we can produce, let me see if there is a lead here. So let's see how this is going to sound again. Oh, there we go. This could also fit here. So let's see if we actually look at a sequence here, folks. Love that bass. This one here, just trying to see, you can actually drag and drop those tracks from one um, from one track to another and see how that is going to sound. So we introduce one here, right? And then introduce here. And technically, we can introduce one here, make this a little longer. Okay, well that's weird. So this is Bugo, Boogie Right. Oh, okay. Let me see here. Okay, it's a synthesizer, right? Yeah, that's it. So then we can put a synthesizer here. Let's listen it again. And by the way, this is the creative process, everyone. So that's why we have to be listening and kind of adjusting that as we go here uh, to make it perfect. Let's just listen it again. Oh, yeah. Like that. There we go. Look at that. If there is something else. Do we have a guitar? No, we don't. I think this one here. Maybe like a cool addition. But notice 
then I'm introducing a new instrument as we go. Do you see? So check this out. Oh yeah, look at that. One interesting side. But anyway, so you're able to, to do just that, right? And have that opportunity to be able to create a kind of an introduction, maybe like to your podcast that sounds like this. And in reality, you don't even need to have all of this if you don't want to. Let's say that you just want to have the introduction to your podcast by having something like this, hypothetically speaking, right? Begin of the podcast. Sure you could. Be a little on the boring side. <laughs> or you could even take that down and just be that. And then it ends, and then the show begins, hypothetically speaking, right? So this is how you can produce this, this introduction to your podcast using the journal option here in Logic 10. Now, you can certainly go, it's another opportunity to go to, not go to genre, and just simply look for what is available. Or you can go to, to descriptions, another good way, if you want to get something more melodic, you can, you know. It's a blues harmonica, oh, check this out. Or if you can actually see like something more clean. Rosilia Cavaquinho, look at that. I mean, personally, if you interview somebody from Brazil, maybe you have a Cavaquinho, it would be good. So there's a lot of stuff you can do in here in Logic to allow you to be able to produce that introduction that you want to introduce in everything, right? You want to go to some synthesizers? Look how crazy this is. I don't know if it necessarily fits what we're trying to do, but there are a lot of sounds that allows you to be able to, to produce that introduction. That's what I'm trying to show you guys. This opening music is part of podcasting. We kind of have to produce it. So it's very important to be able to do that. So if you go to genre and you want to put jazz, for example, Let's see what we have. There's a bit of flute in there. Some, some guitar. Oh, this could be kind of cool. Oh, this is very uh, podcast-like. So if you drag and drop in here, let's see what we have. Let's click OK, right? I'm going to click Import. Look at that, just hypothetically speaking. Maybe the first one was better. <laughs> See, this is the creative process. It may not be done in a minute. You have to think about and see in this sense of the feeling of, of the podcast. Oh yeah, this could be cool, I think. To my ear. Welcome to, what is the name? <laughs> Let me see. Welcome to the Beyond the Gates, the podcast where you dive deep into the vibrant college life scene of South Carolina. You know, see what I mean? So now that we have this, let's say we have this introduction, let's say that we get something as simple as having a sample. Then the next step, everybody, is technically to create a new, to create a new track, right? And in this track here, then what you could do is to potentially have like your voice as, as the instrument. And then once we have the, the script, which we do, then we will read the script as we're recording the script as it goes. So for example, I'm going to put like a record here and I do not have 
my Yeti microphone, but it's the principle that we're talking about, right? So I'm gonna close this, I'm gonna click, let's see if I can bring this up. I don't know if I can, but I'm gonna try to record it and read it, let's see if it'll work. I don't know, but we're gonna find out. It does work. Welcome to Beyond the Gates, the podcast where we dive deep into the vibrant college life scene of South Carolina's historically black colleges and university. I am your host, Dr. A, and today we're exploring what it's like to be a student at an HBCU in 2024. Join me are two special guests, guests one and two, right? Both students at different HBCUs in the state, for example, so that you guys can kind of see that how this works. So then once we kind of produce that, look at that. I don't know, but we're going to find out. It does work. So what we want to do is to make sure that we do not include this in the podcast. And can you hear here? Let me just uh, put a little louder so you can kind of hear. Did I stop breathing before talking? Look. Can you see? Can you hear? Rather? So in reality, we want to take the, all this stuff off. So I click here on this timeline. And then I'm going to click Command T on a Macintosh computer. Click that guy. We don't need this. And I'm going to bring that back to here. Let's see how that sounds. Welcome to Beyond the Gate. You can even go a little beyond if you like. Be fancy. Welcome to Beyond the Gates, the podcast where we dive deep into the vibrant college life scene of South Carolina's historically black colleges and university. Can you see? Now, this could be a little louder, but I'm not using a microphone. But I think it's important for you guys to see that even without a microphone, you can still produce a podcast. Uh, but it's better if you have a microphone. So what we kind of have to do... <laughs> What we can do is one of the ways that we could do is to make sure that we um, kind of adjust some of this, I guess this audio a little bit, right? To be kind of a cool thing to do. So, oh, by the way, before we kind of do this, one of the things that we need to also do is to make sure that we come here, whoops an increase right remember that so we have to increase the cycle for us to be able to kind of do this and i guess we can come back here and where is my tool for i guess we're gonna have a fade well i notice it's a fading tool is interesting you can actually come here and in the end kind of fade if you like so, um, but anyhow, so now that we have this thing, let's just listen. Probably show the noise just to see how it, how it is. Oh, by the way, we can also make that a little heavier, right? And a little longer if we have to. Welcome to Beyond the Gates, the podcast where we... Oh, maybe we should also talk about this. Can you see here the, the EQing? So let's play here. Can also change the EQ and make it a little louder that way too. I'm gonna to show you. Welcome. Oh, and by the way, always keep the the audio level, right? From uh, what you introduce. So this is the level right now, but technically, you can change that if you want to. Welcome to Beyond the Gates, the podcast where we die. But if you come here to EQ and move that a little higher, I'm going to exaggerate so y'all can see how much higher this is going to be. Welcome to Beyond the Gates, you see? the podcast where we dive deep into the... But the issue is that when we do that, we can actually get some distortion on the audio. But we can probably make that a little higher. Not a lot higher, but a little higher. Let's see. As long as the sample before and what we recorded at the same volume. Welcome to Beyond the Gates, enough. the podcast where we dive deep into the vibrant college yeah. life scene of South Carolina. And in the EQ, we can kind of accentuate the the highs. You can maybe like minimize the, oh, you can minimize the lows, or you can manipulate, or you can manipulate the um, your 
your gig in here pretty good let's kind of I'm gonna play the lows. Let me see here how this will sound. Because you you change the sound for you of your production. Check this out. Welcome to Beyond the Gates, the podcast where we dive deep into the vibrant college life scene of South Carolina historically black colleges and university. I am your host, Dr. A, and today we're exploring what it's like to be a student at an HBCU in twenty. So that's what. What you're kind of doing here, trying to manipulate the audio a little bit. But in trueness, with the podcast, you really don't need to do much when um kind of comes to that. If you go to voice, you want to put, for example, like a bright vocal. When you go to natural voice, a narration vocal, right? It automatically does that for you. So let me see how you sound. I think you just put a song called Low Cut. Welcome to Beyond the out. Gates, the podcast where we dive deep Natural into voice. the vibrant college life scene of South Carolina too. historical <laughs> no, black too, but colleges good. and universities. Vintage vocal. I am your host, Dr. A, and today see the we're difference? exploring what it's like to be a student at an HBCU in 2024. Join me, our two special guests, Beyond the Gates, the I think the narration vocal is probably better for this. But do you see, or even if you want to, like 1960s vocal chorus. Let's see how you go. Beyond the Gates, the podcast where we dive deep into the vibrant college life you know, scene of South Carolina. We can actually go natural back. voice. And then, literally, folks, what you would do, just to make this long story short, then what you would do, you would then... I technically would have to have a transitional music. The transitional music can go back again to the, um, let's say if you're using the warm embers guitars, maybe there'll be something else there. Maybe like a, one of the pieces of this sample could potentially be the um, like the transitions. It's just an idea. And then you keep reading the content. You're going to keep reading the script. And once you do all of this, and then the idea is, is to just export what it just did. So you go to, like, File, and then you're going to go to Share. You're going to share that to Music. And it's going to ask you, like, information about your track. And when you click Share, it's then going to save that file, everybody. And that file will become a technique I can't do it, right? And this file that we just created here is going to become then a part of my music. I will test my music library. So it's going to compile here, right? So check this out. Now I have another <laughs> music kind of created on my music app. And that, folks, is a very fast and very quick way to get yourself acquainted with Logic Pro 10, which is an incredible tool for podcasts. It's very simple to use and enables you to produce the podcast that you want. All right? So again, this is Dr. Way. I'm glad that you stick around. And guess what? I'll see you guys in class next time.